Hey nephew Eric, so this is my second attempt at trying to make a video uh, to send to you, a video response to send uh, to you um, responding to your inbox message. Um, I, want it, I want you first to know that I love you um, and I love Lynn and I love the kids. There is no but with that. There is a continuation. I, I wanted to be, to record a video responding to my critiques, to my uh, responses to, to, uh, to Ms. Lynn uh, regarding uh, the issue of civic responsibility and voting. Um, my reaction on election day stems from a deep rooted concern for immigrants, for black and brown folks, for LGBT folks, for women. Um, and it also stemmed from an understanding of what it means uh, to answer the call to be for public service to be responsible citizens Americans I this country although many things that it is which doesn't make us all proud there are many things about it that does make us proud that we are a people who can be, in the midst of the work, a progress. We are also a people who could be stuck. And I feared that a Donald Trump presidency would leave us in a situation to where we won't move forward, but where we will move backwards where the most vulnerable and the marginalized of our country and our world would be at such greater risk. And everything that has happened has proven my fear to be just. So my first response to Lynn was out of that emotional place of People are going to be hurt. And people have been hurt. He has targeted trans folks and he has targeted black and brown folks all over this world. So when Lynn said that she didn't vote, it shocked me because she has and is someone who I have come to love as a daughter, as a niece, someone who I've considered has my back. When she said that she didn't vote, it meant that in this instance that she didn't have our back. Because when we, voting is not just about walking into a booth and, and pulling a hammer, but it is also about civic responsibility. As I keep saying, it, it, it is about um, a moral code of ethics that, um, uh, that public policy is connected to social justice. Um, public policy is expressed, that social justice is expressed in public policy in government. That is why politics is so important. That is why everything that we do and say is political from the marriage that you and Lynn have is political. In fact, you wouldn't be able to have gotten married without a couple who went to court in Virginia. A couple who was an interracial couple whose love gave them five children, 
whose love protected them as they received threats, all because a white man and a black woman wanted to love each other. They went all the way to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court folks who were picked because of voting, because people stepped into a booth and pulled a hammer, pulled a level for the right president who chose a Supreme Court leader who believed that Lynn and Eric would have the right to vote. Politics is important because Brad and I would not have the right to marry, to love each other. Well, we would have the, we would, could love each other, but not have the protection of marriage. Politics is important because health care belongs to every American regardless of financial identity. Politics is important because no matter who you are, the people deserve the right to make America their home, no matter who they are, no matter the darkness of their skin, no matter who or how they worship. Because they're people who came with a dream of being citizens. Politics is important because folks who, whose spirits live in a body that doesn't identify with their selves deserves to have the right to serve our government. So that is why I reacted, I, why I've reacted the way that I have regarding voting. I was shocked and surprised. My parents registered people to vote. The ones who raised me, their names were Idella and Leonard Thomas. And they were the greatest parents on the face of the planet. I always thought they were my real parents until uh, 1991. Um, they risked their lives to register people to vote in downstate Illinois. I'm sorry, in downstate Ohio. Politics is important because of a little baby boy by the name of Jesus, whose mom and dad had to leave their home because of a government leader who put a warrant out for their arrest, for just being who they are. That little baby boy, a Palestinian Jew from a poor Jewish sect in Palestine, the land we know as Israel. Politics is important, my beloved nephew. And it's connected to everything that we are as human beings. Everything that we eat, every thing that we identify as. I want you to know that I am proud of Lynn. And I believe in her. I know that she can set this house thing straight if she wants to, because that's the kind of girl she is. See, I know she'll like the way that I did this. Mm -hmm. Then I know you, girl. And I know that you are mama and wife of that household. I trust you. And I believe in you. I don't want either one of you mad at me. But I would be a hypocrite if I didn't say to you 
what I say to the world and to the country. I've traveled all over this country. And I've traveled in many places in the world. And I see the harm and the ugliness that our electing Donald Trump has done. To the people of the Middle East, they are bracing for unrest. It will impact our family too, as Odessa is preparing to bid Dan farewell. That young man that she married. It will impact others, as so many others that we know. That's why voting matters. Understanding our civic responsibility connecting our love of God and our love of country to the love of one another and our love of humanity and the planet in general. Voting matters. Choosing the right government leaders matter so that we can leave a planet healthy enough for little Jordan those beautiful children that you and Lynn are raising. Those beautiful children that Cora has. Oh, and that Jerrica and Darnell has. By the way, I really like that Darnell. He, he brought my child home to me into New York. I know I called Jerrica my child. So sorry, don't show this video to your mama. Um... I love all of you and I want to be in a better relationship with you all. So please see and understand my wisdom. Trust me and hear my love for the world, my commitment to justice and that I wanna pass that commitment onto you Eric, I'm not going to be here always. One day, I will bid this place goodbye. And I will hand the baton, I will hand it to you. And I hope that you will hand it to the children that you will raise. So that you could be people of justice. Of understanding that you're also responsible to keep making the world a better place. Until then, I don't want to go anywhere anytime soon, but there is the reality that we all must go. And I know that too well for me. From burying a mother and a father. And so that is why this is so emotional because I want to leave a better world for Lynn's kids and for the children that you will have. And for Jerrica and Corey and, and Jody, and Odessa and Yandora and Kiana and Tamika. I'll leave somebody out. And Alicia. <laughs> And Jalan, I want there to be a better world. So let's be united together in our hope for a better place. I love you. Bye bye.